back with more World Cup. We got Exelton versus TDK. So we see Mega Galate, Mew. Uh, well, Mew. And I can see this being like AV Majuna with Volt Switch. The uh, score is four and four at the moment between US East and uh, Spain. What is popping, guys? BTB here. <laughs> you got Young Sorry in the call. I'm back. Mm, okay, Who's we got Raymond. Oh, what's up? Okay. What's up? Is that that's Raymond? I so, stole this kid's name low key four years ago, <laughs> but it's no. <laughs> We this man has it. a. This man has a galley. That's so, looking like. I a think it's Zemo Landers and Starfox offensive Landers. Zemo. Bro, the galley's a threat. And Scarfladi, that's what I always think most of the time. With like, nice and fast. Can check nice. Can check balls with side shock. <laughs> and DDK's team is has three potential Zemo users, but it's either oh, Kira or Coco. Do you want a custom? Do you want a custom? Probably, it's probably Kira. I've seen a lot of live of Curums lately, but yeah, can still be. Curums. Yeah, I think I think Orb is better. Raymond, what what do you want your custom color to be? Uh, I doesn't matter. It's probably blue. All right, bro. HPS doesn't kill. Uh, does it? Uh, I know it doesn't kill um defensive, but I got a Calcus offensive land. But I think it doesn't kill unless it's like Specs Coco or some wild like that. Life Orb kills. Expert build kills. Okay, I was okay. thinking about testing expert build Coco. <laughs> I think this might be offensive Lando because you have a Mew. Yeah, TDK is either gonna make a wild prediction, go for HPS predicting the rocks, or he's gonna go on his own Lando. Because if he goes Cesar here on a potential Z move, I think he will get blown away because he's not mechaed yet. And that'll be bad because then lose a lot. Let's check. Oh, he makes all specs. Oh, he's orb. Uh, or I mean, expert build. Expert build, <laughs> not orb. I can't expert build. No, I don't trust sorry with this card. Jk. Um, Bro, expert build probably kills because. I just want to see if it's a roll. I just want to see. Wise glasses kills after rock. Uh, oh, 75 percent chance to go with expert build. Yeah, but I think TDKs used specs before. No, you. PL for a call correctly, but we'll see later in the game. These are specs are build. Well, because the thing is, is like, look at Axel's 10 team now and tell me what takes a specs team. Well, absolutely. I mean, if it's specs, rap. nothing takes it. Yeah, this game's a fucking rap, dude. Yeah, this game's a rap. So, yeah, East is <laughs> gonna be up 5 and 4 probably, unless Axel pulls it out somehow. I don't know how Axel is possibly pulling this game out. Everything I mean, he has, so has let might get a kill here. Everything he has has a counter except Galade. And Galade has to SD up to be a threat. Yeah. You think that's you think that's uh Rocky Elmet Time Growth? Nah, that's definitely A V. Look at his dark. Yeah, he has uh, Scissor has really good defense. Like if he's really if he's bold scissor I can potentially take um Ben a thousand errors. And also has Lando to I mean yeah, Tango is also resists arrows. Oh you so then he has nothing for this Galate. I'm just going to Sizz here. I mean, Galate gets one kill, but... And then Coco just comes back in. Okay, my play is Sizz because... I mean, that's what I'm thinking, at least. You need to turn even, out on this. Even if you it's... eat a plus two, Sizz eats a plus two CC, and then you could click U-turn and come right back into Coco kill. Even if he's a uh, helmet, he cannot put this to sleep. And probably loses... Like, Tangrowth loses 1v1 to this, I think. Yeah, cause he just SDs. SD like, twice. What's Tango doing back? What's Tango doing back anyway? Yeah, Giga Drone probably does like thirty or so. Cause Galate has good speed death. Yeah. How many Tango plus uh Tapu Coco sounds ass? Yeah. Yeah, cause you're right. Like, He's AV. What's his ass? What's his ass chat? Yeah, he doesn't have an ass chat chat than that. So again, the Lali putting SD. Um, this takes any one hit unless it's. Z move Lottie. <laughs> oh, I specs Lottie and win the tie, but I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Lottie. I'm just thinking of ways how he could Oko to Galate. But Axel 10 is already in a bad enough position, so I don't have to. <laughs> he has to wait. Like, I don't have to mention the worst stats for him, because 
then he's gonna completely get destroyed. If this is like Specs or Z move and uh, TK wins the speed, huh? but he's probably just gonna drag to get damage. Uh, maybe Sajak because he doesn't want to risk a miss. And Sajak brings it in range from uh, Coco. And I don't know if it brings it in range from Bullet Punch. Uh, I don't think it's in range as yet. I don't, yeah, he doesn't really need this either. I guess he's just saving the Sizz. The, yeah, Lari is only nice for yeah. the um for the Gren if it's not Scarf Gren. All right, so what's dying? How GG? What's fun? Yeah, so Coco clicks T-Bolt. <laughs> yeah, Coco just gets a kill. If though. he's AV Magina with Cormex, but death that can take two. But okay, Lari comes. That did. Oh, that a good chunk. I don't know if that specs. I want to call. <laughs> Uh, volt switch. Me guys, U turns here. Bro, that's definitely specs. And then Coco just comes back in again. Yeah. Okay. We'll have done twenty-one to twenty-five. If it wasn't specs. Just making sure. This is a free ass U turn too. Go right in here, Landris. Do you think it was SD Scissor or um, and no defog on this or defog on that? Like defog on that or defog on this? Why did Axel 10 bring a team that loses to Coco? Please help me. I don't, know. I don't know. Both both scissor rolls fit this team, but I don't know. I'll probably use SD myself. I mean. <laughs> Heracross would be like not super good, but Heracross can put in work with TDK. Like, you vault, like if you vault with the um, Juno on the Tangrows. But yeah, I didn't bring that, so I don't have to theory one about this. <laughs> um, he's gonna go on a Mew here. No, I was just thinking what TDK is weak to, that's why I said that. Uh, this Mew is probably Ice Beam. Because his Lanros was offensive. And then he needs uh, like a good Zygar check. Yeah, it has, it has to be Ice Beam. I'm probably fast too. I mean, defensive Lando doesn't kill Magirna, but TDK just wants damage so that Coco kills everything with T-Bolt. So that Axel shouldn't stay in. I mean, TDK might just go for rocks. Uh, I don't think it matters if you rocks or u turns. Oh, even the earthquake is fine because if the Mew is fast, it might be forced to softball anyways. The only bad position would be if he goes Lari in an earthquake. I mean, not that TDK loses, but that would like be the only player that loses the momentum in this specific turn. He, he might just want to click U turn and get the Coco back. back Damn, my Astral team is so weak to Coco. Damn. Uh, because apparently we don't prep for mo <laughs> That mod's a threat. We just bring six broken mods and pray that they work. <laughs> yeah. What? Yeah, what that's he, he gets a wisp here. But CDK doesn't need the scissor. Like, scissor can just get burned and then he gets a slow U turn. Yeah, he just, like, pretty much wins with Coco at this point. It's only turn seven. It's like oh, it's like oh, it was over turn one, I guess. After the Lando died, like, is it confirmed that it's AV Magina? Because if he's if he's uh, somehow set up Magina, maybe that can pull it off. But probably not, because he has the tank to check it. He has the uh, priority in bullet punch. Yeah, he has scissors still. Like, scissors still healthy. No, I just thought he could throw the scissor in here because he doesn't really need it. I can also, if he's um, yeah, I'm pretty sure Zoom of Curum now that we know that he specs Coco. At first, I wasn't sure. So he doesn't want the Curum to get burned because I think Zoom of Curum wants max attack. Yeah, it runs max attack. Now he might like, just go double. into the Tangros then and click knock. That works too. Like a late already mega evolved, so it doesn't get a justified boost from knockoff.
I think TDK's TDK's team though. Yeah. What? Oh, why did he stay in? What did? Which turn? Uh, what did? Like all he had to do was go into mad. What? Lost him nothing. Absolutely fucking. Oh, you mean why he stayed in with the Mew? No, why he stayed in with the Landorus turn. Oh, you're talking about TDK. No, I'm talking about Axel. Talk about Axel. Talk about Axel. No, you said why did he stay in with the Lando? That's what I understood. Why do you stay in with the Lando versus the Coco? Oh, you mean turn one? My bad. I thought you meant just now with the TDK. I mean, he probably predicted you turn, but yeah, it was honest, it was way too risky. Yeah, you shouldn't have risked it turn one. If you would have you done and. Axel would have gone into Magina or Mew. What would TDK have brought in? Probably the Curum or the Curum. Like, if he went Mew, the Curum would have maybe gotten a kill if it's fast. It's Sub Zero Slammer. I don't know if Mew runs enough speed for Curums. It runs like 290 for Zygra, I think. And most of um, Curum Blacks run 289 speed. Can I just bullet I punch know. here? It's a fucking wrap. Yeah, so the, the last game is a GSC. I'm probably not gonna record that unless I find some guest expert. Oh my lord, he said. Yeah, I guess the Udon was the better play because he was locked into Sunshock anyway with the Lottie. So the damage and scissor extra damage didn't matter. And I think he's gonna try and go Lottie in an earthquake. But it's not gonna work out for him. I mean. Even if he does that, he still has a scissor there. And yeah, he has to double then. Like he can like uh, double. I mean, he has to be on top of. He has to be on top of KDK at each point. But. Like if he Greninja can like flinch everything, but Coco still outspeeds it before it gets the Ash. I don't see any way Axel could like pull yeah. himself. Yeah, he just keeps you doing. <laughs> Because momentum is, momentum is completely on TDK. And if he so goes into like... <laughs> mm. Nah, this can be with Earthquake because last time he rocked. Yeah, the GC game is between BKC and I forgot his opponent. Let me see real quick. Fafus. I hope we'll see a tie break or tie break or however that thing's called. So that, um, because I don't want to miss like the all deciding game. Usually I like to record the all deciding game for like a series. Especially when it, um, like the winner is in finals, so it's like a important game. Yeah, he predicted the rock again. No. <laughs> I don't think it's a setup, but you're in. no good. Yeah, it has to be AV because like he yeah, has no hey. um he has no hydro pump switching. Other like Ladius is not reliable. It's not like Ash yeah, can switch. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's definitely AV now. And I mean like Lele is a threat to him as well. Yeah, we also see it from the move set like AV always wants volt switch. Yeah, always setup volt doesn't switch. run that. Galates, mm, does Galate get a kill? No, it's at 44, it doesn't. You can just go with probably hard scissor or... Um, if he has Leaf Storm, Leaf Storm might kill the Galate from 44. If he has, if it's Leaf Storm, it's TDK movie, he has to go off a dodge then. I think he will just Giga Drain. Or... I mean, he has the SD here. Yeah, he's definitely not gonna go hard Kogo because um, Kogo gets kills later in the game, so he's not gonna risk it now. Yo, guys, can I ask you a question? Yes. Why, are you, why are you commentating a game that's over? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, bro. I don't know, it's Pokemon, so. I mean. Yeah, I know. I mean, I saw, I saw the CEO. 
He can just he can just dodge all those. Thunder. And so does Suya was the zone was over too, and then he disconnected. Oh yeah, that's true. That's true. That's true. You're right, man. You're right. <laughs> that's that's Axel's win condition right now. He hardened. Oh, he read, what the fuck? He went hard, Coco. I thought he would never make it's that play. Choice. I know that he breaks it SD, it's but choice, like. Doesn't matter though. Doesn't matter. Yeah, but Coco was cool and Coco would have gotten killed later. Hello, my mascot would have gotten killed. I mean, I already got one. I mean, <laughs> I mean, Larios is completely like weakened now, so. Volt Switch might not kill without the spec, so he might just T bolt. Yeah, Larios in range, never mind. Yeah, T bolt is fine. <laughs> it's free. <laughs> I thought Lari was healthy earlier, but it's a 20. Okay, okay, he wants the momentum. He's like, I'm not letting Jim Jonah come in. And then Majuna would um, threaten the Coco with a Florican, and then uh, Axel could Voltage predicting TDK to switch. I mean, TDK would just uh, T-Build into Volt, switch into his Tangles, is what he would have done. OMG, TDK is so good. Who said that? So I hate Karen Black. Karen Black, my like, mom said it too. My mom said, my mom had said she would marry TDK because he's just that good at Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> Sub Zero Slammer kills this. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, it, get, it gets to kill. It gets to kill now. Like something dies to it. You can also just go back into Lander, but I think Hume is fine. If he went hard with Juna or Mute and one, it would have been different story, maybe. Yeah, cause. TDK would be really clicking electric moves. You then he would have he would have already known that it's specs, and then um, like if he went with Juno on the specs HPS, he got a free volt switch. Actually, not free because he has a Lando, but like people. He could have played around it better. Yeah, people really go hard land on Juno because they feel the ice. Gotta predict correct. Okay, so he wants the. I think he got off quick here. Like he has been clicking rocks all the time. Oof. I mean, it, it doesn't matter because yeah, I know. <laughs> it, does, it doesn't even matter. Now he's going to double into something that beats the scissor, which is maybe going to go Greninja and go for the flinch or into or into oh. Mew and Wisp something. I don't think so. That took any damage yet. Whoa, oh, did he care with the reeds? <laughs> Boy said I've had enough, you know. Playing with me. He really eq to TDK really doesn't give a fuck. I mean, it doesn't matter. So yeah, because like the scissor was obvious and scissor is obvious. He has AV. Lando also eats a hit. hit. But Axel's in the back. He has to hit these players. Padlock, that play was more than insane. Padlock, you can learn something here, yeah, JK. No, there was one game where TDK used Specs Coco, which was um, OU Premier not uh, was it Premier League? I think it was OU Premier League or however the toy is called. I uh, hit Specs Coco was Gypsy King and he was up early in the game, but then he almost lost uh shout out to T Wave. T Wave Cafe almost turned around. The best the best <laughs> move in the game. Oh this is Zemo? Oh wow. So what's the Kim Black then? The Kim's life up or expert build life up I guess. I mean, he has, a, he has the ice being here and like go for freeze hats or something. Mm. Yeah, he needs he needs like a combination of hacks and TDK. Yeah, he, need, he, needs, he, needs, some he needs some sort. He needs some sort. TDK through. has to throw on top of the hacks. I don't think the hacks alone can do it for him. But I don't think TDK is gonna let him get Ash. One, if they say it's about Ash, like probably yeah, he's Ash. going Tangrosy, obviously. Um, yeah. he's double, but it's okay. Wow, he breaks the ice beam. <laughs> Did he EQ? Again? I mean, Car no, no, I mean, he Karen Black. Karen Black was okay yeah. as well. This guy's straight earlier. If Muse 
speedy enough. Uh, Ice Beam might, might only do like half, so Mew can like life up stall a bit and then Wisp eventually. But it doesn't matter in the long run. Yeah, because Coco, the more Coco comes back in, he just gets a kill. Or something. Coco can probably live as an helper from full, that's why he hardened into Coco earlier. Oh, he just breaks the yeah, He doesn't really need health on it anyway. Yeah, I just wanted the Coco to do more work, like get, get some more oh. kills. <laughs> Damn, TDK is at 40 seconds. Like it depends on Axel's spread, like Axel will probably know if he outspeeds, but if Axel's confident he's gonna um, just softball here. Like he should be faster, right? Yeah, he should be. Most, most moves run 290 speed. I mean, off power kills this, so he's gonna... He doesn't even have a pivot. Yeah, there's, like there's takes nothing. A... There's no double axle. Greninja takes a lot from off power. Oh, this might eat this Majorna, because... Let me see. No, I don't think it eats 38%. No, I don't think it eats. Even with the AV. Might live from like 3%. Yeah, that's, that's like 32 to um, 38 if the Majorna has no spadef investment, but sometimes they run calm. So yeah, it can eat. But not that it matters. He can just yeah, go uh, tank. He can just go tank or sizzle to Unless it's HP fire, that would threaten this sis. But yeah, fusion bolt obviously kills because I'm yeah, yeah I'm bad and didn't goodbye. think about I'm bad and didn't think about the physical guild side because the physical yeah that is 46 <laughs> to 55. If it's max attack, if it has no attack investment, it still does min 40. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think about fusion bolt. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, get it, get it, could just probably pick up one right now. Mm. Or do. But then Coco just comes back in. It's a wrap from here. He's gonna go um, land on the CC and then Coco on the Ice Punch to flex on him. I get them flex points. I mean, I, I think TDK got all the flex points he needs. I mean, he can. Okay, he sacks it. And now he clicks a T ball with Coco. Mm -hmm. And it's GG. He's gonna go Ninja and get afterwards and get 5 hits with Water Shuri and crits. No, because they call him. Now I'm not gonna say any pad up jokes. <laughs> Never know, Grenadier might be Z, Z ISB for that tango. <laughs> if Mew was at full, maybe Mew could somehow solo. Oh, can you solo this? Like he, Mew might eat this, because I don't think he will have taunt obviously if he specs. Bro, Mew eats everything bro, that mod's so good. Yeah, like the specs get knocked off so Mew should eat. So you can just soft boil and then... The, what is the Mew at? Not like 46? Yeah, it's a 46 yeah. but he can heal, he can eat. He'll eat? Damn, Mew's busted. Yeah, specs was knocked off. It should... Yeah, and cause Coco's hell. The only problem, the problem for Axel is Mew cannot solo because... Like Tangos can knock off the lefties. Scissor can Scissor like, can U-turn around. Tangos has regenerator. Scissor has roost, so the Mew won't have enough PP to do it. Oh, is he scarf Gren? Oh, is he going? Yeah, he's going for the water shrink. Okay, okay. He's bluffing. Is he? Oh, he's just going for the five hits or for the four. Ooh, that is. Oh, oh, crit. Three. Ah, padlock yeah. special ah. five hits. <laughs> Yeah, I predicted that. I said the pedal of special is here. I mean, that pedal would get the fight. I don't care if it matters, it's funny. Who gets? I never seen that. I mean, now he can win. Now he can win with Ice Beam Freeze on the Scissor. 
I've never seen Watcher to get five hits in like that. Fi not only five hits, also a crit. Or was it four hits? That was five. Oof. What if he crits all three of these? He has to like, go for dark, dark pokes. You know? I mean, I don't know. He might. He's either going for the crit or for the ice beam freeze if he switches out. Or would this be ice beam or? E sense. I don't think it's E sense because he has Ladi and Mew to check Keld. And also, Mijuna checks it. I mean, so there's U turns here. Probably has to go. I don't know. He should probably go for Dark Pulse. We had it doesn't kill even with crits. I mean, if he could have a single one, maybe. Uh, I would have went for like Dark Pulse Flinch here. Yeah, either Dark Pulse Flinch or Ice Beam Freeze was a, probably the better chance, but. He he wouldn't have gotten it anyway. Like he, he would. I think he needed multiple flinches. He has a, like he also has to flinch the tank. Uh, Lando also eats dark pulse from full. If he goes for pump, tank comes in for free. I don't know. New maybe. New maybe could be solo here if not the Yeah, the only but. problem is that the the tank plus scissor combo will um, knock off his lefties and then stall him out. With um, reduced U-turn, tank was as regenerator. Damn! It it ate. Yeah, that's definitely fast mute though, because that outquick did like a bit more than I expected. Like fat mute would probably only take like 35 or 33. Oh, GG. Yeah, he has to go for SD here, yeah. So it's gonna outquick here and then um, probably brings it in range from... Maybe in range from bullet, bullet. punch, depending on this roll. So Mew is probably gonna Ice Beam here. Why is this still going? 27 minutes. The game was over after 5 minutes or after 1 minute. <laughs> yeah, that's doing way too much. Damn, okay, GG. I, 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 I didn't even kill. Yeah, he would have still gotten stalled out even if Ice Beam killed. But as his yeah, like, thing. Yeah, like you said, Scissor plus Tank. Oh. So, yeah, he's in the. Um, East is in the lead 5 4, or is leading, however you say that, my English is ass. Um, <laughs> so, BKC 5 was the last game, which will decide if. Um, BKC wins, East is in the World Cup Finals. Uh, 5 was wins, it's gonna be 5 5, and there's a tiebreaker. Yeah, probably not recorded, like I said, and. Um, I record uh, Ben Manifee vs Roses for the Euro vs West series and yeah, probably every game here. Jimmy Turvey was easy and Thorodak was dice, also interesting. So yeah, TDK stunned on him and it was a bit closer at the end, shout out to the nice hacks. And thanks to my guest and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye. Goodbye! <laughs>